Hello, it's me, SunfireSG, and today I'm going to show you how to build this lovely modern house in Minecraft. And if you like the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, and uh, yeah, if you want to see more of the same, hit that subscribe button. Let's get to it. Okay, so this plot is 25 wide and 13 deep. And I think the maximum height is 10 on it. So what you want to do is come along, oh, what's this? You'll come along to the 9th, 10th, and 11th block. And let's just double check that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And you'll be placing it on your little boundary if you've built one. And you want to go up 10 blocks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Bring that across and one underneath as well and then bring that right the way back down. And that is the first feature wall done. Just fill in this area here with a glass pane of your choice of color. And then we can move on to the gray concrete bits, which are set in by one, and then the white concrete is set in by another one. So you'll see how, it, as, as I go along with the tutorial, how this will start to take shape. So our next section is this section here. It's going to be five across and again, 10 up. In fact, we can just bring that back there and across like that. Again, two thick at the top. Bring that all the way back down to meet this. This is going to be a doorway here. And then you're going to have a row of three glass panes. I, I chose a different color for this bit. I feel like the contrast was necessary. So I've got some, I think, light blue. Yeah, light blue here. And that's that second section done. Then we can work on, if I get some white concrete. Boop. No. Boop. There we go. And we can set this in one as well and bring that along free. In fact, I feel like we've got an extra block here. Yeah, it's actually one wider than I expected. That's all good. So it's 26 wide, not 25. Right. So what we want to do here is kind of bring this up to one under this, like so. And what you can do is kind of mirror this on this side as well, like that. And behind here, if we go ahead and grab our regular blue stained glass, is we can fill this all the way up to the roof of that, like so, and then place our iron trap doors on the top half of the block, all the way to the roof. Now you don't have to use iron trap doors, you can use slabs if you want to, I find that works just as well, but I like the thinner profile of these trap doors. All right, so we can map out the next, next bit of this uh, build by going 12 blocks along here. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. Actually, no, it is. Okay, I've built it one off from the template. So it is actually 25 wide. God, get it. to be fair, I've not, I've not really done much of this tutorial stuff. So I was getting used to this whole format. It's quite interesting. So this can go back up to this level here and across by four and back down like so. And behind here, I actually filled in with concrete. I did have it as a window at one point, but it didn't look quite right. So you can actually fill this all the way up to the roof. And in this section here, you can put in on the top half of the block some dark oak slabs and that gives us that feature wall there. Now I believe we go up here one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, and we can bring that all the way across. And for now we're just gonna fill this in before we actually put in the windows shortly. Because you might decide that you don't want windows in this area if you want to keep it as a storage area or if you do want to do what I've done which is turn it into a kitchen you can actually pop in some windows on this bottom level here as you go. So we'll grab this cyan terracotta 
gray concrete works just as well. And we'll come in one here. And we'll go up five across like this and out one on the side of the build there. And we're going to do the same on the bottom and in the middle as well. Like that. And that's pretty much your front profile done. Uh, so where I put the window was here, like that. But see how you feel when you're building it. Okay, so now we can bring this out another two on this side and just join it up like so. Here, we're going to bring this out nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Drop down one and two more like that. And that can come down to the ground now, like so. And just fill in this behind here. And I think what I did was I put in a couple of windows that were, I remember rightly, three across like that. Yep, that's looking right. And that's, yeah, that, yep, that's right. Cool. Two high, three wide. We'll fill in that area here. And that is almost everything done on this side. We will do the little barrier fence for the swimming pool at the very last moment, I think. So now we'll move on to this side here. So what we'll do is we'll start off by bringing this wall four across and then up to match this. And we're gonna fill that in completely. Like so. Now we can do another three here. Bring that up. And around the back here. Bring that up like that. And we're going to go ahead and kind of repeat the pattern that we had here. This is actually going to be an elevator eventually, but this one is just, go just going to be a window. Pop that on there like that. And back again to do the top half iron trap doors or slabs if you choose to do that. And then on this wall here, we've got four like that. Oops. We can bring this up to match that cyan terracotta there. And what I did for this is I just got some cobblestone stirs and kind of made a little pattern like so, leaving a little gap in between there. And then if I remember rightly, I did one here. I think I got some slabs for that. Let's let's just see if this actually looks how I remember it. Again, you can do what you want here. It's, it's kind of just a, a vague design in the wall. You can do what you want for this particular wall. Fill it in with the cyan tong, cyan, <laughs> cyan terracotta, or some sort of pattern like this. Maybe glazed terracotta would be nice, actually. Yeah, glazed terracotta might work quite nicely there as well. But that's that wall done. Right, so next you want to move this uh, wall across by five. One, two, three, four, five, and up five as well. One, two, three, four, five. Bring it across like so. And we can actually bring that across another three on this side. And three on this side, like so. In fact, we can bring those up there and like that. And we'll actually put the brown terracotta in the front here as well like so, and a little window like that. Oops. Bring some concrete across in the middle of this section here, and then fill in these sections here with four glass panes on the second level and the fourth level. The next section is our little door frame, and we'll go up to the top five blocks there, next to this brand terracotta, and then across four. So one, two, three, four. All the way down, put in whatever uh, material you want for your floor here. I'm just using concrete for this particular section. And then we can just fill in that there. Now this here can now go across another four. One, two, three, four. Bring that down as well and actually fill this in completely. Like this. And bring your brown terracotta up to match like so. 
And then here, in this section here, I've just got some dark oak slabs as well, just to kind of bring that pattern from the front over here as well. Right, to finish off the initial framework for this house, we're going to bring this all the way across and this all the way across and kind of just, actually let's, I think I've got it as a full window like this here. Yeah, there like that. So it's too wide, but three high. Like that. All right, so what we can do now is we can start filling in this floor level here. Come on. Yep, there we go. Tell you what, I'm going to finish filling in this floor level and uh, we'll come back just to finish off the second floor here. Okay, so we'll start on the second story by bringing this across four and down to the ground here. And we'll just fill in this area here, right to the top. It's unnecessary. You can put a bit of storage there if you want to. And then this across six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And up like that. Now what I've done is I've grabbed the four blocks of glass again. Brought them around. And pop down some more doors. Now when you're filling in the floor, leave a gap here for your elevators. And I leave a gap here just kind of... I don't know, have a little bit of a, a balcony where you can look out, which I quite like as well. Okay, so now all that's left is to bring this out eight. So we've got our one there, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, down to the floor. Bring that around here, and like that. And I just filled this wall in. You can put some windows in if you want. But part of this will become our swimming pool as well. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pop. I think I'll pop a door there. And we'll have some sort of window here as well. So if we go across here like that, let's get some glass panes from this window here. Thank you. Like so. And in here we'll pop that door. And then you can just basically grab your contrast color of the glass panes and bring it all the way around here like so and that is basically your second layer second level of the house done all that's left now is the roof up here kind of dragging these bits across a little bit and then putting in the swimming pool and then I'll leave the decoration inside up to you so once you've got the second ceiling of the second floor done we can actually bring this back. I brought mine back eight blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we'll just line that up like so. And these ones here, I just brought in an extra one just to add a little bit of contrast to the side of the build like that. Now, if you want to mob proof this, I suggest pop it, popping down some carpet. It's going to look quite odd with torches or end rods up there which is unfortunate, but it's just part of how it is, I guess. Uh, and now we can go ahead and grab the stir blocks here and fill in our swimming pool. Now, if you want a bit of a an odd swimming pool, you can go ahead and uh, basically fill this in here with some full blocks of glass, which, you know what, we'll, we'll, we'll do that. We'll do that. Since we can, why not? So let's get over here. We will fill, we'll remove the ceiling here, and we'll fill that in with glass. Again, color of your choice does not matter. Put a glazed terracotta mural. Whatever you think will work best for that situation for you. And let's go ahead and fill this in. And that's our swimming pool done as well. So that is basically the bones of the house. And I'm going to cut back for the end of the video. And we're just going to have a bit of a look around at what I've chosen to do for my particular design on the inside. And to kind of show you what we can do with the space, I've just done a little bit of decorating in this one here. And if we have a look inside, you've got a lovely big living room, nice coat hook for you as well. So these are the elevators, very simple to put in. Uh, I'm sure don't need any instruction on that and I'm sure there's plenty of videos if you do. I've uh, got a lovely little table, a fridge,
kitchen. Everything lovely here. And if we head up to the top floor, a lot more storage. Now here, I actually knocked through the top concrete block and replaced it with a quartz slab so this top chest can open. Uh, you can't actually see it from the top because it's covered in carpet to kind of mob proof it. And then we've got a lovely little bedroom up here as well. So guys, I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. And uh, if you do build this in your world, feel free to show me what you've changed. For example, I put in some lovely skylights here. And if we head down to the bottom floor here, in the kitchen, I actually brought this down an extra block with concrete and glass because I didn't like the dripping effect of the water above the swimming pool. Um, so you might want to do that as well. But yeah, if you do make changes, post it to my Twitter, which is at sunfire underscore SG. I'd love to see what you do with this build. But that's all for now. We'll see you next time. Bye.